Hello, I am Kasam Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we'll look into how to publish or deploy an MVC ASP.NET Core 2.0 MVC application to Azure Web App, uh, but by using Dropbox. Right. So the deployment source would be Dropbox. So um, as you know, Dropbox uh, is like uh, you can share your files, you can save your files and any files. Uh, uh, it's like a Google Drive. Uh, you can very well. Uh, it's uh, it's not a version control or something, but it's an you can say an, uh, uh, a drive on on the cloud also. Uh, you can keep your files. You can access it from anywhere, online, mobile app, desktop application, and so on. And the main thing is Microsoft Azure app. Uh, has uh, added uh, this Dropbox as uh, one of the deployment source, uh, one of the deployment options for deploying the application to Azure Web Apps. And so the video. So uh, let me know. I am uh, let you all know that I am not an affiliate member of Dropbox or so. It's just because Microsoft Azure has this as a deployment option. I am uh, uh, having this video. So you can explore more about Dropbox at dropbox.com. Uh, you can get a free account over here. You get something around 2 GB of free space and that is enough for our website uh, to save or to host to. So for the brevity of this uh, video, I have already created an uh, Microsoft Azure web app. Uh, it's just from clicking this new and web app. You can see uh, with the name app via Dropbox and it has nothing as of now it is uh, with live with a basic template with a basic uh, with a default template you can say it's uh, over here i have used purposely used the service plan as free tier i'm using a free azure account just to show you that we can leverage all these features of azure app uh, via the free account also via the free tier also so this is the power of azure this is the power of free account you can very well try to learn get started with this exploring uh, the all the features of apps so as you can see this is a free uh, service plan and i'm using a free account okay so let's uh, okay so i have also created an application you can see this mvc core by dropbox it's a uh, basic uh, mvc application and it is uh, as of now it is running fine <laughs> it should run fine you can see it's a localhost url cool and uh, i have directly created this application into my dropbox location you can create this application anywhere into your uh, computer or your pc location and then you can just copy and paste the published files or the files you need to deploy to azure app so here is my dropbox account here is my dropbox i've added the windows desktop application for dropbox so that it gets synced with my uh, files and inside this app and azure i have kept this uh, application now why uh, this uh, path like apps slash azure uh, we'll see it later so now let's uh, open up our azure portal so as of now you must have came to know what would be the prerequisite yes it is dropbox a free account you can get microsoft azure subscription again a free account great everything is free and this video again free <laughs> so let's start with this uh, let's come up to portal.azure.com and uh, go to deployment options so the step remains the same i've already created a video for how to deploy the files to github and bitbucket i would recommend to have watch on uh, have a look on those videos too so let's create the source and uh, we do have sources today in this video as dropbox so as soon as you create uh, select the dropbox it will ask you to authorize your dropbox account now i have already authorized my account that's why i just come uh, come up and listed my account name so it will ask you uh, your dropbox login credential wherein you need to give an access to uh, the dropbox account to microsoft azure app so here as okay so uh, the third step is choose folder so as you can see uh, our app name is app by dropbox and it has already uh, 
taken the name it assumes it pre assumes that your application name also your application folder name also would be the same as app name but you can very well change it you just click over it and you can see this four uh, folders it's not branches or all it are four folders uh, into your particular location into your dropbox location is being listed over here so here the main thing you need to remember is as you can see I have kept this inside apps see this is a Dropbox root then there is a folder name apps and inside it there is a folder name Azure and then your file folders and these are the things which are getting listed over here so this is nothing but it's just assuming that there would be a folder with the same name so we can ignore it and these are the three folders so that's the particular reason where i asked you to uh, like notice like whenever you ask whenever uh, this uh, during this authorization process microsoft azure web app ask for the access for a particular path into your dropbox folder and that particular path is nothing but uh, the apps slash azure so that Whenever you connect your Dropbox account with your web app, it will only have an access to this particular path and it will try to list down all the things, all the folders or into this part under this path over here. So many times it happens like uh, someone, uh, many people comes with this query like uh, they added the authorized, they authorized the Dropbox, they added Dropbox as a source, but they are not able to list or they are not able to see their folders over here. So the only reason is uh, it happens sometimes we are very much used to give access to each and everything blindly. And when we try to get authorized, we can get a window of permission of act giving access. Uh, we just click on accept, accept, that's it. So if you read that carefully, it clearly says that Microsoft Azure Web App needs an access to this particular path into your Dropbox name so and so and that particular path is apps slash Azure. So if at all uh, the path doesn't exist, it will create that path. Great. And if it exists, then no worries. It just asks for the permission. So if at all you don't have that particular path, it will create that path. So just try it out. Just don't uh, create those folders into your Dropbox. Just try to authorize it and it will create that app slash Azure and then try to put all the files uh, inside that Azure folder. So here uh, we do have uh, this MVC core wire Dropbox. I've added this. Let's click over here. You can choose the folder and click on OK. So within few seconds, very few seconds, it will set up the source as uh, Dropbox for our web app. Just click uh, the deployment option so that we can see the synchronizing that those files and getting deployed. Those files have already started. So it will take at least two to three minutes to deploy. Okay, so it got deployed. It took approximately two minutes and now we can go to our site and just refresh it. Let's see our MVC application. Cool. So now our MVC core 2.0 application is live on Azure Web App and that too using Dropbox. Cool, isn't it? So let's do one thing. Let's uh, make small change. So I've already uh, created this application into that same Dropbox location. So I will just go over here, make a small change. Uh, let's change this name itself. I am from Azure. Let's say I'm coming from Azure. Okay, just a change, just to just to showcase like how uh, it changes the file or how it uh, retrieve the changes and deploy it uh, to live application. So we have made this changes. Let's save it. Okay, let's uh, once go through our Dropbox application. This is the folder. Mm, let's see the view, shared, layout. Okay, just made this changes now. So absolutely fine. Let's go to application again. That is our portal. Azure portal now over here if you want to if you made some few changes and you need to again uh, deploy or publish that particular files just uh, you need to go to again uh, at deployment options and click on sync 
so it will ask you so do you want to retrieve and deploy the contents from the dropbox repository say yes and again in few seconds it started it will start up with uh, synchronizing the same just click over here again to check So you can see that started up and it has uh, retrieved the one file which we made changes into and it's deploying that particular file so it's uh, it just try to retrieve the latest or the last change files from the last deployment timing and uh, as we made only changes to one page uh, it's showing that it's trying to synchronize that one changes from Dropbox let's see so in less than a minute it uh, deployed it's showing active now let's go to our home page and just click on refresh we have changed this great so you can see the change is now reflected live and it took less than a minute to get it deployed or to get it get that live again so hope you have enjoyed this video hope you have learned something new please uh, subscribe to my channel like this video share this video among your communities and let me know if you want some more topics to be covered i will be very much happy to cover that uh, topics and to create a video on those things let me know if you finding my video very fast or it is too slow or any suggestion any feedback are welcomed any queries just comment it comment in this video comments for in the comment section of this video and i will be happy to address those uh, queries so again thank you for watching happy azure coding bye bye